Hello boys and girls. This week in maths, we're learning about money. Money is what we use to buy lots of different things from the shop. We're going to be adding different amounts together to see what we can afford to buy. Let's give it a go. We're going to start by adding dollars together first. Can you see what coins we have? That's right, one dollar coins. Let's count to see how much money we have in total. One, two, three, four, five. So all together we have five dollars. What could we buy with five dollars? Now we have $2 coins. We're going to skip count by 2 to find the total. 2, 4, 6, 8. So all together we have $8. What could we buy with $8? Now let's add cents together. Can you see what coins we have? We have 10 cent coins. What do you think we should skip count by? That's right. We're going to skip count by 10 because we have 10 cent coins. Let's start. 10, 20, 30, 40. So all together we have 40 cents. What could we buy with 40 cents? Now we're going to add 5 cent coins together. What number should we skip count by? That's right, 5. 5, 10, 15, 20. So all together we have 20 cents. These four coins make up the same value as a single 20 cent coin. What could we buy with 20 cents? Now onto a challenge. We want to add these 20 cent coins together. We're going to try two strategies. For the first strategy, we're going to skip count by 20. 20, 40, 60, 80. So all together we have 80 cents. Now, if you don't know how to skip count by 20 yet, you can skip count by 10 twice because two 10 cent coins make 20 cents. Let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 80 cents. We arrived at the same answer using two different strategies. What could we buy with 80 cents? Okay, boys and girls, it's your turn to have a go now. Start by adding dollars together and then you can try adding cents together. You can even have a look through a shopping catalogue and see what you can afford to buy. Happy shopping!